I think there has to be change in Hollywood. I think it's become such a huge thing that there is no way for it to continue to move forward in the way it was. I think that absolutely goes without saying. What that means and actually how that change becomes meaningful, I'm still not clear on. So hopefully it's about creating a culture where women um, feel much more able to speak out, who are, feel much more able to report any misconduct. Um, and that, is, that misconduct doesn't happen in the first place would obviously be the ultimate aim because the responsibility is on the men involved not to behave like that. What was shocking to most people about all the stories as they came out um, and as the women felt more and more able to speak about them was the kind of complicit nature of what was happening, people turning blind eyes, people kind of just not discussing what was happening and if not witnessing it directly, having a real deep knowledge of, of what was going on. And I feel those codes of silence are no longer seen as honourable. <laughs> So I really hope that this is the start of significant change, but I think the real proof is going to come in, in, in terms of what that means. What does that literally mean for a young actress starting out? What are the safeguards in place? How can she feel safe? How can the industry take responsibility for young women coming through in an industry that is very kind of set up around um, male domination in terms of they are often the more senior execs, they're the people making the decisions. When you do have young and experienced actors especially coming through, how do you protect them to the extent where they are no longer placed in, in positions of being in risk? <laughs> This is a complicated dad you're playing. Reminding people that it is the workplace and that there is a certain level of protection um, that everybody is expect has an expectation of, I think, is really important. And I think that is about everybody who's involved in it. And I think this is the same wherever you work. <laughs> My personal feeling is, for example, um, in the case of Baby Driver, Baby Driver is an amazing film. Edgar Wright made, in my mind, one of the best films this year. And everybody's work on that film stands regardless of the accusations that have since been made against Kevin Spacey. And for me, that film still stands up and I would hope people still watch that film because I don't think that's about rewarding anyone's behaviour. I think that film has some incredible performances in it. I think Edgar Wright has created an incredible film. Um, and I think that stands regardless. So we had the visual array of things to shoot, which was huge. I mean, I think one of the... <laughs> I think if somebody is, has been proven to take part in any of these things or has acknowledged their level of guilt, um, those people should no longer have a future in the industry. And I can't see most people wanting to collaborate or work with those people um, because I think they acknowledge that actually that, that has to be the end of, of their career in terms of benefiting 
from what's been happening over the last 10, 15, 20 years, whatever you're talking about. <laughs>